What is blockchain? Okay. Now, this is one of the most confused term in the cryptocurrency space. I don't know why it is because there is a company or a website called blockchain.com that offers a wallet service for different cryptocurrencies like and it's also some exchange or swap services you know for bitcoin bitcoin cash uh repo litecoin i think uh, usd packs or usd digital as it's now called okay even uh, stellar okay so maybe is it because of that or is it because that people miss took blockchain the word blockchain for meaning exchange okay blockchain has nothing to do with exchange okay blockchain all right is just like every other ledger that a business owns let me let me give you an example a bank okay has different branches and every day transactions are done in those branches and every day those the data from those branches are being calculated in a ledger that this bank owns okay in that ledger it shows every single transaction that comes in every single transaction that goes out okay and also shows the expense of the company and also if there is investment in terms of stock or maybe there are some items that depreciated that they need the disposal and they sold and they got money from it all those things are written and are recorded in the ledger of the bank okay so in the case of blockchain okay in the case of blockchain blockchain simply made it perfect because before a ledger can be altered by a company Okay, maybe they want to show that they are doing very well and they want to hide what they want to hide from investors. Okay, it's not showing the true value or the true record of what is happening. So a blockchain makes it perfect in the sense that those records are immutable, undetectable, and cannot be removed. It's a permanent record. Okay, it's a permanent record. So, which means that if I send TST to you, it's, it's recording all the TST blockchain, all the TST uh, tracker, okay, on Ethereum blockchain. Because TST is built on Ethereum blockchain. Okay, TST is built on Ethereum blockchain and that's why it has the name token. Because token are cryptocurrencies that are built on other uh, cryptocurrencies or built on other blockchain okay it or third party blockchain whereas cryptocurrencies or coins okay both of them are coin or cryptocurrencies coin and token coin has its own blockchain a token is built on a third party's blockchain all right i hope you guys are getting this information now there are several types of blockchain okay not many, but I can narrow it down to public, private, and closed. Okay. Now, what is public? Public is like what you have is what you have with Ethereum and Bitcoin. Okay, whereby you can see the transactions on the blockchain. All you simply need to do is just type etherscan.com or etplora and you see those transactions. If a transaction is done now, it's telling you the exact time, the exact amount, the exact wallet that that transaction happened. Same with blockchain's wallet, uh, Bitcoin's blockchain. Okay? Same with Bitcoin's blockchain. Alright? So those transactions are recorded there and you can go anytime. And that is why, you know, it's beautiful. Cryptocurrency is beautiful because it's transparent. Like, I know somebody who I sent some TST to, and uh, mistakenly the son sent a lesser amount to him. And he was complaining. All I had to do was go to the Etherscan, took screenshots of the wallet that I sent it to, and showed him the transaction that happened. So the days of you arguing with your customer whether he sent money or not, oh, he's hanging, he's not hanging, and you don't know where the transaction is between the bank and, the, and your own bank, okay, 
those days are coming to an end because those companies and banks are looking to adopt their own blockchain technology that they can use for their own business. Which means that they will be able to see transactions as it happens. And customers, because all I have to do now is send you TST and I send you the trash ID or I send you the transaction link for you to monitor the transaction. You can also see how many hours it might take to confirm. And that is why Ethereum blockchain is, is, a bit, is better than Bitcoin's blockchain because Bitcoin blockchain does not tell you how long you have to wait for that transaction to confirm. I get what I'm saying. So, when people say blockchain, blockchain, let me just read what I have here. Blockchain is a system of recording information in a way that makes it difficult or impossible to change, hack, or cheat the system. A blockchain is essentially a digital ledger of transactions that, are, that is duplicated and distributed across the entire network of computer systems on the blockchain. Each block in the chain contains a number of transactions and every time a new transaction occurs on the blockchain, a record of that transaction is added to every participant's ledger. The decentralized database managed by multiple participants is known as distributed ledger technology. I won't dive into that, okay? But blockchain is a type of distributed ledger technology in which transactions are recorded with an immutable cryptographic signature called a hash so that's why when you do transaction people are like okay what's the high hash id okay what's the transaction hash okay so you guys get where the word hash is coming from and that is why crypto is attached to the name currency and this cryptocurrency are the currencies that run on this blockchain now the beautiful thing about ethereum blockchain is it allows the creation of cryptocurrencies on this blockchain that are going to use its infrastructure and pay its fees in Ether. And that is why I keep telling you guys that if you're going to do transaction on Ethereum, you should on on TST, you should have at least some, you know, one or two dollar Ether for transaction because you're going to pay fees to the blockchain that we are using to run our token. So, blockchain, it never says here that blockchain is an exchange. Okay? It never says here that blockchain is what gives coins value. No. It only gives a coin value unless that coin or the, that business or the business model is monetizing its blockchain. The way you have Ether monetizing its blockchain so that decentralized applications can be built on top of it. So that decentralized organizations, okay, that is what is called decentralized autonomous organizations. That is DAO, DAO, okay. Decentralized application is DAP, D-A-P, P, okay. Those are the things that you use the Ethereum blockchain, and that is why you can be able to create a cryptocurrency uh, called a token on it, and you pay every transaction that you done. If you do one million transaction, you pay the one million, you know. Uh, you pay them fees for the transaction. By the way, you pay your bank's fee for doing transactions, okay? So it's no different. That's the way they make money. And that's what keep the system. And every single person who builds a service, whether it's an exchange, okay, whether it's a decentralized exchange or whether it's a wallet system, okay, are also rewarded for the activity. And very soon, they'll be introducing Ethereum staking, whereby you can stake Ethereum and you earn a certain percentage, are you getting the point I'm making? So when people go ahead and start you misusing terms for their own personal benefits, it makes me to worry because they are deceiving people who are not educated. And that is why you see me taking my time to do this video. So get yourself educated, subscribe to my channel, invite your friends to come and follow me on my channel, and I will educate you guys on this time. So nobody will bamboozle you on these terms. Okay, and cryptocurrency is very simple, uh, very simple, okay? You have a coin, it has to be spendable, and it has to be usable, it has to be exchangeable. Simple. Anything in terms of drama attached to it doesn't, is clear bullshit. And when it's not meeting up both terms, it's not a cryptocurrency. Okay? And it relies on markets and exchanges to give it value because the market is created when people do transactions within themselves. 
And that is when exchanges can now come in to say, okay, let's back this, uh, let's back this trade or these activities with more trust. So which means you don't necessarily have to lack trust. All you have to do is just send us money because you trust the exchange more than you trust peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That's what it is in simple terms. All right, guys. So let me not deviate, okay? I just explained to you guys what blockchain is. And I believe you guys can defend yourself anywhere when you see people misusing the terms blockchain. All right, guys. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. And have a blessed day.